what's up beautiful people it's Cinderella. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video that has been trending on tiktok and is the researcher's story the who the f did i marry and in this video we're going to be checking part 18 and part 19 combined together i already created a playlist on for this so you can follow up to check on the playlist but yeah let's check it out okay part 18 who the fuck did i marry so he starts looking at houses in Sandy Springs, Alpharetta area with his friend, Scott. Um, I did not see any of these houses. I did not go. I didn't want to go. Um, so what was starting to change is, remember I said before, he would leave the house every day at around 6.15. He would be home every day between 3.30 and 4 o'clock without fail. It was so... I shouldn't say it was annoying, but it I could set my clock by the fact that I would hear that garage door open between 3.30 and 4 o'clock every day that he went to work. Even during lockdown, he still had to go to work. His job was only locked down for maybe a week. Um, for me, I was allowed to work from home, but unfortunately, I, I did not handle it well. And so I would fall asleep and not check email. So my boss was like, yeah, you're going to have to come back to the office because you're not trustworthy. And I wasn't. I mean, I totally, I would watch Netflix and not even be on my computer. So I had to start going back to work every day, five days a week. Um, and I was, <laughs> me and another lady were the only two in there because we were the only two who did not handle work from home properly. Anyway, that's another story. So Legion would, he started to not come home by four o'clock. He started to come home 5, 5.30, 6, 6.30, sometimes 7 o'clock because he was saying that he was um, looking at houses after work with his friend Scott. So it definitely was noticed that things are changing. Um, and I just... At this point, kind of emotionally and mentally, I was just like, I don't know what to do. Hmm. This is the end of January. Remember, I told you in part 15, I got married January 5th. By January 31st, I kind of knew I was in trouble. And by the end of January, sure enough, I knew things were changing in a way that I was like, I hate to sound redundant, but what the fuck is going on? So he's still maintaining the story of looking for a house, looking for a house. I had already let him know my lease is up in August. When my lease is up in August, I am moving to Cobb County. Um, <laughs> and then my attitude was kind of like, you can go with me or you can stay here. I don't care, but I'm moving. I'm leaving Clayton County. The reason why I want, I was so adamant to move was not because of Clayton County. It was not because of the house that I was in. It was because Legion had started to create this narrative that he was beefing with my female neighbor. He was trying to get me to believe that my female neighbor to the left of me um, somehow was interested in him. And so she would make these little comments and he would come in the house complaining about her and her music and the fact that she had, you know, different men over to the house. It was driving me crazy. And all of this was kind of starting in January. So when I say that it really seems like we got married January 5th and then we had two weeks of peace and then something just snapped. I literally mean something just snapped. So he's looking at houses. Now we're moving into February. February obviously is my birthday month. Um, he did good. He did good to make Valentine. He went all out for Valentine's Day. He went all out for my birthday. My birthday and Valentine's Day are February 14th and February 15th. So um, he went all out on both days. <sighs> Y'all ain't even gonna believe this story. But I said, This is indeed who the F did she marry? Because, yo, 
Mm-hmm. The story is getting all the more interesting, and I'm loving this. Let's go on. But I said I would share, even when it makes me look bad. So, the weekend after my birthday, and what I mean by that is, if my birthday was on a Tuesday, we're talking about Saturday. Um, the weekend after my birthday, he gave me money to go to the nail salon, go get a manicure and pedicure. So I leave the house. I take his car. His car was in the driveway. We had a key to each other's car because, again, we're married at this point. We're talking February 2021. So I take his car and I drive to the nail salon over in Morrow. I'm in the chair getting a pedicure and I get a text message from my husband saying someone was just at the house looking for you. And I'm like, who was looking for me? What do you, well, who was it? And he said, I don't know. I think it was some, this is through text. I don't know. I think it was some dude you used to mess with. Okay. Um, I was like, what are you talking about? He's, and he was like, I'm telling you, some guy just came to the house looking for you. I told him you were not here. So at this point, y'all, I'm in the chair at the salon. I'm freaking out because I'm like, who the fuck has the audacity to come to my home unannounced, uninvited, talking about they're looking for me? Especially because before I met my husband... I was working I was working the last shift at Amazon as a part-time job. So I had not dealt with dated anything with anyone for about a year before I met him in March of 2020. So I really was like, who the hell is this coming to my house? So I finished the pedicure, I head home. Once I get home, I'm like, what what are you talking about? What happened? And so I'm frazzled in a way and he's calm he was like yeah it was a black dodge charger they pulled into the driveway they backed in they backed in as if they had been here before so clearly this was someone who who who's been to your house he got out the car he said i opened the door and i went out there and i said you know is there something i can help you with and he said the guy said i'm looking for and gave him my name and he said i'm sorry she's not here and he said, he was like, oh, okay. Um, all right then. And just got in a car and drove off. And I was like, my brain stopped working because I'm thinking, who the heck could this be? A Dodge Charger? I was like, are you sure that it wasn't law enforcement? Like, was it the sheriff's office trying to serve me with a lawsuit for a credit card I didn't pay? He was like, no, he was in regular clothes. He was like, and it was not a, um, a, a police car. It was on a marked unit, basically. And so I'm just like, who the heck could this be? And he was like, I know who it was. And I said, who? He was like, I think it was your ex. I said, what ex? He was like, the one that you had dated for two years. Remember back in like part three, part four, I told y'all, he told me about his ex. I told him about mine. I thought we were being honest with each other. So now fast forward to February, 2021. And he's telling me, yeah, I think it was the ex that you have been dealing with for those two years before you met me. I said, so you think that he showed up to the house uninvited after two years? And he was like, well, whoever it was clearly was comfortable pull backing into our driveway, getting out the car and was like, I'm here to see and gave me, gave him my name. Um, and so he was like, she's not here. Is there something I can help you with? And the guy was like, nah, nah, it's cool. Um, and then just got in the car and drove off. So uh, again, brain is like, who, who could this be? So then Legion says to me, you know what? The way that you react into this is real suspect. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He was like, you over here freaking out. I told you I took care of it. I told you it was fine. And you over here freaking out, which makes me wonder, what are you, what have you been up to? Now, 
Let's go to part 19. Something about this visit sounds fishy and looks like a made up story the Legion would do because nothing is adding up and you see this like i said in the earlier part of the video or the beginning part of the video i said especially those that are just getting into dating and all of that try in your introduction or whatever don't discuss your past relationship or discuss your ex there's a reason for it and they are an ex for a reason because some people just don't know how to deal with the fact that you have an ex and some people want to either compare or use your ex or your past relationship as um, a weapon or something against you, whatever, it to manipulate you whatsoever. And some people can be really, really, really terrible. Well, I hope that is not the case for her because it looks like those signs are coming up. But yeah, let's go on to part 19. Okay, part 18, who the fuck did I marry? So he says to me, the way you're acting is real suspect because I told you it was fine, I took care of it. He was like, I ain't even worried about it. He was like, obviously that nigga didn't know that you now married, that you've moved on. And so now he knows it. But for me, it was the fact that I don't do, do pop-ups. Don't come to my house unannounced. So if someone has done that, for me, it, it automatically feels like a violation and it feels like it needs to be addressed. So it was not as simple as I already took care of it. It's fine. Let it go. No, nah, we ain't letting nothing go because you don't have my permission to show up to my house. And before this turns into something where I'm going to be on Fox 5 News, I need to address that with you because that is not okay. So he didn't like the reaction I had to the story he told me where someone basically disrespected my home. And he felt like my reaction was really suspect. So um, what I'm going I'm to get into the little details that he did not know about. So he tells me again, it was a black charger, a black Dodge charger. They backed into the driveway. A gentleman got out of the car and he asked for me by name and Legion said she's not here. So um, I asked him, what does the guy look like? And he said, he was like, why does it matter? I said, what the fuck does he look like? So Legion proceeds to give me the most generic description you can give. He was like, well, um, he was shorter than me ex-husband is about six three six four he was shorter than me um he was brown skin i said did he, ha did he have a hat on his head mind you i understand that before marriage i was a damn fool i understand that but every woman has that moment where you only gonna fool her but for so long and eventually stuff puzzles start coming together. For me, I felt like moving into marriage, certain things started coming together. So I said to him, um, did he have a hat on his head? He was like, nah, he ain't wear a hat. So in my mind, I am mentally going down a list of every possible man it could be. Um, and it was only like four men. I had been in that house about three or four years at this point. So I knew all of the people. And I'm talking about from maintenance down to ex-boyfriends. It was a total of like four men. So when he said that um, it was a black charger, I immediately was like, okay, I know that crosses out one. He said he was shorter than him. All of them were shorter than him. I said, did he have a hat on his head? He said, no, that crossed out one because one in particular was a maintenance guy who always wore a hat on his head because he had like a bruise or something and he, he was just self-conscious about it. So he always wore a hat. That leaves two. So I said, was he muscular or was he skinny? So Legion's getting all frustrated. I said, just answer the question. He was like, well, he was kind of in between. And I said, okay, um, 
he, he was in between. I said, so was he light skin or was he dark skin? He was like, I told you he was brown skin. I said, was he my complexion? He said, no, he was, he was brown skin. That eliminates one. So now there's one left. And yes, the one left would have been the ex that I had dated for two years. And so he was like, I know that that, I know it was your ex. I know it was your ex. And I was like, that don't make no sense because the ex that I, in my mind, I'm saying this, the ex that I had dated, he and I had no contact with each other. And he was not the type to just pop up at your house. That ain't his style. Not to mention, and I ain't tell Legion this, that man would not be caught dead driving a Dodge Charger. He hated Chargers because he drove it as a patrol car. So I didn't say anything. I just was like, that's that's weird. So what Legion didn't know is that at the time I had a security system. So I had a security system where um, anytime the front door, the garage door or the back door was open, basically any entry point, anytime it was open or closed, it would send me a text message notification. So when he's telling me all this, I'm looking at my phone and I see a notification where the front door was opened and it was shut all within the same minute. So for example, if it says front door open at 1 p.m., front door closed at 1 p.m. So whatever he did was within those 60 seconds. Oh, this is getting the more interesting yo i love it, it just so sad that it took her this long to start seeing the signs but it's a good thing that after all she saw and noticed the sign i mean people can't be a fool for ever sometime or after a while the skill will fall off their eye wow Ooh, okay let's go on He's telling me the story of the guy got out the car. Um, he opened the door. He went out there. Can I help you? And the guy said, um, I'm looking for. And Legion said, no, nah, she's not here. And so the, the, he said the guy kind of was like, OK. And he was like, all right, thank you. And got in the car. And drove off. Legion has also told me that he watched him drive off, drive out of the neighborhood, which means because of the way the house was set up, the townhouse, he would have still been outside watching this. I could be wrong, but something in me was like that would take more than 60 seconds. So for the door to have been open and shut within the same 60 seconds, I was like, mm, mm. okay. So also what he didn't know, we didn't have a ring door camera, but my neighbor did. And her ring door camera caught my driveway. It, it, the view of the camera could see my driveway as well as her driveway. Um, and so who, whoever was coming in the door, our driveways were right next to each other. And then on the, either, on the other side of it was the grass. So it was a, per, it was a perfect view of my driveway. So... So she, um, I had texted her and I said, Hey, were you home? Um, I think I texted her the next day. Cause I said, were you home on Saturday? Da, 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 da. And she said, um, no, I wasn't. What's up? You know, everything good. And I said, um, can you look at your security system and see if there was a car that came to my house, um, at such and such time? And I know I, I did not tell her the reason I was asking, but I was like, is there any way that your security camera caught if someone came to my house um, at this time on Saturday. She's like, yeah, sure, I'll look. And so <laughs> maybe about a couple of hours later, she texted me back and said, hey, I looked at the camera, but I didn't see anything. And I said, okay, by any chance, did it catch if someone maybe walked up the driveway? Like maybe it wasn't a car in the driveway, but someone walked up. She said, I didn't see anything with your driveway yesterday. So I said, okay. Um, and I, and I knew, I knew that something in me again, um, was like, nobody came to the house. So now here we are, um, a month and a half married 
And now is when I'm like, why the fuck did he make that up? Because no one came to the house. Hmm. No black charger came to the house, pulled back into the driveway. Nobody got out the car and asked for me. Nobody was looking for me. So now I'm, I was sitting in the bedroom thinking through all this. And I'm like, why the fuck did he make that up? Because that's what happened. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at the text messages on my phone where he's telling me someone just came to the house looking for you. But no one came. So what was the purpose of that? And then I, and then something said to me, something in me said, he wanted to see your reaction. He, he just wanted to see the reaction. You had been too calm. And so he wanted to see a reaction. So this man gaslit me like I was Georgia natural gas just to get a reaction. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part 20 of who the fuck did I marry? Yo, this is indeed who the F did she marry? What? If he can pull this off, he can do way worse. I mean, who did she even have sleeping by the side of her bed? What? I sense he wanted to play the hero part, to be like, oh, he is the hero in her life. And every other person that comes in to her life has she he would be the one to defend her that kind of manly mancho type of behavior and all but yo this is sneaky but it's a good thing that she is realizing this or she's realized this to know and take note of this event and all of this and why would he pull that out this already feels like a movie but indeed i'm um i'm loving this so far let me know what you think about this i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share and i'm a, and i really love your honest contribution to this you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video